Hello everyone, Amy G here with an answer for Josie who has posed a question over on the G Recruiters forum and what Josie would like to know is how she can take her recently downloaded Recruiters dashboard and make her locally installed Pale Moon browser look and feel exactly the same. So let's start off by taking a quick look at what Josie has downloaded and this is the G Recruiters dashboard. In actual fact this is the Firefox browser and more this is the portable version but as you can see we've personalized it somewhat so that it's a little reminiscent of Google Chrome. But in addition to changing the look and feel of the browser itself what we've also done is added quite a number of add-ons and extensions which we have found particularly useful in our uh, recruiting efforts and we've also got quite a few customizations and tweaks going on so that this really does work for our particular needs when we're recruiting sourcing or whatever it is that we happen to be doing online now all of the changes that we have here including the add-ons that we've got included the various scripts that we've got to customize the way that certain web pages or applications behave the way that we've got all of these bookmarks preloaded all of these customizations or preferences are archived in the browser's profile. So Josie's question really should be how do I take the profile from my portable version of Firefox and copy that over to my locally installed version of Pale Moon. And Pale Moon, for those who are not familiar with that browser, is an optimized browser. It's been tweaked so that it performs particularly well in a Windows environment. And I'm using Pale Moon myself, which I will show you here. And you'll see that it looks remarkably similar to Firefox except that I've got one or two additional changes that I've made in order to meet my particular needs so what I'm anxious not to do is to go and overwrite this particular profile so I'm gonna start off by showing you how to create a new one so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to our run command or whatever is equivalent in your system and I'm going to start off by looking for my pale moon profiles now these are typically going to be in your applications folder and if you're not sure where to find your applications folder normally it's hidden so you might want to go into your files you might want to change your preferences on your files so that you can see your hidden files make your applications folder um, visible and there you'll find all of the data for all of the programs that you've got installed but first things first let's go and type in here pale moon dot exe now if you wanted to copy your profile from one Firefox to another you would do the exact same thing except that of course you wouldn't be putting pale moon dot exe you'd be putting Firefox uh, exe and we're going to put minus profile manager and what this is going to do is this is going to launch the profile manager and this will not work if you have the browser running so I'm going to go ahead now and exit this so we're going to close Pale Moon and let's come back into the run command and let's hit OK. So now what we should see is this profile manager and this is the profile that we just looked at. So I'm going to create a brand new profile and we'll call this one Dash so we can distinguish it from all of the others and when I start Pale Moon using the dash profile you'll see that it launches with the default settings so this looks exactly like Pale Moon would look if you had just downloaded it and for those that are familiar with Firefox of course you'll notice that this looks remarkably like the default Firefox browser as well because to all intents and purposes Pale Moon is nothing more than a clone of Firefox so what we want to do is we want to change all of this so that it looks and feels like our Firefox browser and I'm going to close this out as well and I'll show you now how to go ahead and copy this over now there's a couple of ways that you can do this I'm going to show you the way that takes the longest but it's the easiest so let's now go into my applications and I'm going to come into my computer and into my local drive and typically you're going to find under documents and settings your profile on the machine now this is the file that's typically hidden if you go into your folder options you can unhide it and when I open this up you'll see that we've got all of the application data for all of the various installs that we have and what I'm looking for is the folder for Pale Moon now it's actually 
called Moonchild Productions. So let me just open this up and you can see here that we've got a folder for profiles and now you can see the default profile which is the one that I showed you when we started and here's the profile that I just created which is the dash profile. So let's minimize that and here is the folder that Josie has downloaded from the grecruiters.com site. This is the Firefox portable. And if we open it up, you can see here that we can launch the program. But we've also got here in this folder a profile. So go into data, open up the profile. And here you can see that we've got everything that we looked at in terms of customizations, tweaks, add-ons, and what have you. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the contents of this folder in its entirety. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my profile. This is my dash profile. And I'm going to paste everything in. And you'll see that there are some folders which are going to be carried over because they come a standard and we're going to overwrite everything now this could take 5 10 or as long as 15 minutes so I'm going to let this take care of itself and then we'll come back in just a moment and see how well this thing has baked so bear with me I'll be back in a minute So there you are, we've copied all of the files over into our dash profile and you can see that we've got all of the folders carried over from the original Firefox portable. So let's close this out now and let's see if this will open. Now I'm going to just click here on Pale Moon and this will always default to opening on the last profile that you selected. So here you can see that we've got a couple of the add-ons which it thinks are incompatible. Let's go ahead and see if there are any updates for that. Let's just go ahead and load this now. And this should now look and feel exactly like the Firefox portable version, except we now have this installed locally with Pale Moon. Now, the first time that you open this, it might take a moment or two to upload. And here we are with our newly installed profile complete with all of our bookmarks, our add-ons, our various scripts and now you are free to go ahead and change this in any way shape or form. A couple of things that I just want to point out when you come in and look at the tools you'll notice that there's an extension that's available to you from this drop down and this is Phoebe so I would always encourage you to uh, perform a backup so that whatever happens to your browser you can always come back and restore that to a previously backed up version in fact if you go to the G recruiters site you'll find a tutorial that talks about how you can use Phoebe it's something that is very valuable I would encourage you to do that as a matter of routine and also let's now come back in here and relaunch our profile manager now if you remember we can't do that while we have the program running so let's just close that out and you can see here that you can have this come up every time you launch the program so in fact if you have multiple profiles you can select which one you want to use you may have one for recruiting you may have one for business you may have one for personal however you want to configure this is of course entirely up to you but I'm going to come back to my regular profile and get back to business so there you are everybody I hope this has been helpful until we meet again happy googling and bye bye